Jo, und herzlich willkommen zu German Through the Zombie Apocalypse Episode 2. Dann würde ich sagen, lass mal anfangen. Up at Adam, Sunshine. Dude, it's sunset already. How long did we sleep? Relax, it's the apocalypse. Well, at least we finished the return of the king before bed. I still can't believe they had the DVDs. Hey, so you were the ones yelling the whole night in the lobby? Okay, you know, it's pretty rude eavesdropping on animals. Nobody was able to sleep because of you two. I kept hearing zombie noises and shouting. Schnauze, wir haben Frodo angefeuert. <lacht> Geräusche von Spinnern? Das waren Orks, blöd, Mann. <lacht> Schnauze. Unbelievable. I'm reporting you. Yes, do it. I'm reporting you as well. Hey, it's not our fault our crappy room doesn't have a TV. Los geht's. Wir sollten darüber reden, was letztes Mal passiert ist. Uh, Why? Because you made a lot of mistakes. I made mistakes? Yeah. So after using up all resources from your apartment, you sent me out to scavenge, I ran into a drunk parrot and freaking bulls who you provoked with racial slurs. Blöde Kuh. Ich hab sie nicht wirklich Beef genannt. Ah ja, daran erinnere ich mich. Der, der erste Teil, der ist ein bisschen was her. Jahre. Aber daran erinnere ich mich noch, dass er die in ganze Zeit rassistisch beleidigt hat. Was für ein Wichser. I casually mentioned beef in a sentence, and they went berserk. Next, they followed me back and robbed us. But we stole their scavenging guild map. And then you got the idea of convincing others to scavenge for us using those locations. Surprisingly, somehow it worked, and we got a few animals to help us. Finally, we found the guild and signed up. So what's the lesson? I don't know, don't insult bulls? Or don't bring them back to my apartment? Yeah. All right. Time to start scavenging, I guess. Our stay expired this morning already. Does it feel crowded in here to you? Hey, what's with all these new bloods? One moment. Wombie? What are you, what are you doing here? Hi, friends. I live here. Since when? Since the bulls brought me. I'm confused. My new friends made me a member. They also said not to talk to you. Bye. Wait, just what the hell is going on here? Something smells fishy. Did the bulls bring these other animals too? I don't know. Uh, hold up. What does this jam mean for us? Are all the rooms filled up? We always keep a few exclusive rooms open. They're expensive, though. How expensive we talking? One thousand guild points a night. Fucking... Boiled cabbage! We've made some changes since we realized that animals were... Oh shit! Don't you see what's going on? The bulls are crowding us out of the guild! Those fucking... This is losing its charm, Hank. Ah, okay. Those fucking... <laughs> I just woke up. I'm not in the zone yet. Please stop intimidating fellow members. Now, as I was saying. Speaking of bastards. Okay, Hank, let's not. Oh, you think you crowd us out? What are you halflings prattling about? Hey, Hank, they watch the movie too. Don't play dumb, you. Oh, sympathetic. You see, this is why we don't want these savages here. There, he just admitted. I'll have to ask you to behave. We don't have time. 
get your hopes up, assholes. We'll find a way to get those points. Ah. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, do you guys have some guild uniforms available? Um, no. Ah, cabbage. What for? I wanted to start the day by introducing my authority principle. Uh, never mind. Let's buzz out of here. <laughs> I can't believe those motherfuckers. We'll show them. We'll get that grin just to spite them. I don't know, Hank. We already lost half a day sleeping. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Uh, hey, there's some animal ahead. First, today's lesson look like a profession. That's a lesson? It's more like a point, but an important one. When you're selling something, animals don't evaluate just the product. They also evaluate you. I wonder how you made a living. Focus, Larry. If you don't seem professional, they won't take you serious, even if they need exactly what you're selling. Sie es wirklich brauchen, werden sie sich nicht darum scheren, wie du aussiehst. Es kommt meines Erachtens noch drauf an, also nur, äh, ich sag mal so, bronzenmäßige Sachen verkaufst und du aussiehst wie der hinterletzte Penner, dann kann das schon ein bisschen merkwürdig rüberkommen. Viele Leute vielleicht ein bisschen suspicious. Ähm, aber ich sag mal, so, das ist so ein Verkäufer jetzt bei Aldi, da ist kacke egal, wie derjenige aussieht. Ne? Du willst ja deine Nahrung kaufen und damit fertig. Dann ist scheißegal, ob, ob die Person aussieht wie, wie Topmodel oder wie der hinterletzte Heckenpenner. Hauptsache derjenige, die Person kann ihren Job machen. Also. Hey du, I work with this rookie who couldn't sell cabbage to a rabbit. Interested customers who call in, ready to buy, I couldn't close them. You have to redirect their calls my way every time. He started closing deals only after I taught him how to change his presentation and tone. Every animal wants to buy from a professional. Wenn du in der Wüste Wasser verkaufst, ja, das ist nämlich der, die Sache zum Beispiel. Wenn du in der Wüste Wasser verkaufst und so, ist es scheißegal, wie du aussiehst. Die Leute wollen nicht verdursten. Also es ist kacke egal, wie, ob du aussiehst wie, keine Ahnung, wie ein Topmodel oder der hinterletzte Penner. Of course, the situation changes things. Confidence, tone, sharpness, these constitute a professional attitude. But now, just try your best, Larry. Jeez, get a load of this one. It's kind of disturbing. Hello, sir. Peace and mercy to you sinners. Sinners? The real sinners, don't you see? Lord sent a flood to drown us all. Oh shit, now there's a flood too? Where? I think he means metaphorically. Like a Bible. Hell on earth. Demons walking the earth. Eternal doomsday has descended upon us. No, oh, Larry, he's pretty literal about this. Now listen, buddy. You mean the God? Yeah, yeah, that guy. Is, is this for real? Nice, for sticking to your latest principle. Sounding professional means different things to different prospects. Sorry, buddy, give us a second. Are we really going to exploit this delusional animal? denn darauf, weil er ein Tier des Glaubens ist? Wir wollen ihm nur helfen. No, I don't mean... So, anybody with a little faith is crazy to you? Stop twisting my words. Just take a good look at him. Listen, this poor thing needs some kind of a sign. Something to keep him going. And we can help with that. Hank, this is not... Do you want him to lose all hope and jump off some bridge? You know what? I give up. Whatever. At least I'll have some company for once. Maybe restore some sanity. Sure, there you go. What's going on? Don't worry about it. We were just, uh, checking your sin record with the big guy. So listen. We pleaded for him to give you another chance. So you'll be put on a test. Is this worth 
Das ist Glaubens der Tugend. I knew it. I prayed and he answered. Of course. And will my sins be forgiven? I don't know, buddy. You did some pretty nasty stuff. I did. Is this about my stupid demon brother? Ähm, ja, das tut es. Ich weiß nicht. Damn him! Always messing up my life with his good looks. Even now. Right. Genau. Well, listen. <lacht> I, I, I mean, he want you to... Prüfung der Plünderer bestehst. Die Prüfung der Selbstmordigkeit bestehst. How? By giving everything. But I have nothing. You'll have something. Let us worry about that. Yes, sir. You're scavenging the, um, the cookie store, I guess. Are you serious? You chose a cookie store for the trial? It's the only place nearby. I want him to start scavenging before he changes his mind. He's highly unstable, Larry. Come on, my son. <laughs> Climb aboard. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. Oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> Behold, a cookie store. What does the Almighty want me to do? To brave the valley of death. Fear no weirdos. And to bring us all the loot. He wants me to bring you all the loot? Ein wahrer Test des Glaubens. If that is his will. So he he wants these cookies? Yes, loot the cookies. Okay. Here's some more candy. There's also some tools left here. Pick them up. Ich wette, die Angel kann später echt nützlich sein. That's all. Zombies don't sleep. Where did you get the idea that they do? A rat's life is on the line. You can't go off a hunch. Larry, never in my life have I heard of a sleeping zombie. Where would you hear about it? From movies? We've been out here for just one day. Look, Larry, some things just make sense. Mm. What's going on, guys? Braten uns nur ein wenig mit dem Herrn. Okay, listen. Die Kisten, die hier oben stehen, die großen Kisten neben dem Spinner. Wir ja, auf den Spinner und rennen raus, wenn er noch nicht tot ist. Die kleinen Kisten, das würde man auf jeden Fall mehr bekommen. Auf jeden Fall. Die großen Kisten wären natürlich am interessantesten auf jeden Fall. Ah. Aber das wäre am sichersten, weil wenn er nicht tot ist, dann kannst du ja einfach alles machen. Okay, I can throw some cookies at him. Um, I don't know. Nur mal sicher, plündert die Kisten, die weit weg von ihm sind. Okay. Okay, 
Hazelnut cookies. My favorite. Don't get too carried away. Loot is your offering to the Lord. Oh, yeah. But surely the Lord would spare his lowly servant a single cookie? Has the Lord truly decreed that I must starve amongst his plenty? Hank, we can let him keep one. It's not about what we want. It's about what God wants. Just one cookie, Lord, to soothe my aching belly. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Today he taketh your cookie. And he... Ah! Oh, fuck! The zombie got up! Run! Try, Hank, try! But man hat wenigstens ordentlich was bekommen. What the hell was that? Zombies don't sleep! Didn't you throw some cookies at him? I did! You told me zombies don't sleep! I had a pretty damn good hunch. I'm lucky I ran out of there quickly. You had nothing to worry about. Praise the Lord! Now, the final test of your faith. Selflessness. Verschenke die Kekse. Dir mit den Keksen helfen. Um, I don't know. I feel like I deserve something. I mean, God rewards the worthy, right? Okay. Ernsthaft, beim einfachsten Teil des Tests durchfallen? Hier, die, die Ware. Oh, oh, I know this. You're doing that thing where I give you all the loot. Then you'll say I passed the test and you'll give me all the loot back for being good? Nope. No? No. Be frank, you're beginning to sound a lot like an infidel right now. What do you mean? Okay, I'll just keep one third. I'm sure God won't mind. I'm sure he will. Come on, I've been through hell and back to get this. The Herr prüft Wills behalten. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure he'll understand. I'm sure he won't. Here. Werkzeugkiste wäre eigentlich auch gut. Wie gesagt, Angelroute kann später nützlich sein, genauso wie eine Zange und ein Schraubenschlüssel. Okay, this is where our paths split. Thank you for this. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to send your regards to the big guy. Bye. So, what's the plan? Who's around till we run into another prospect? Just drive carefully. Nobody's maintaining the roads after all. Eh, yeah, don't worry. You know, 
I don't like this. You don't like what? We pretend to be capable professionals, but we're completely clueless. What are you talking about? We got one day of experience under our belt, and the rest we get from zombie movies. Learning fast, Bucko. Try to keep up with you. Hank, we're playing with lives while we're learning. Tough world out here, what can I tell you? Look, an animal. It's an owl. Hello, miss. Who are you? I'm Larry, and this is Hank. We... The fuck do you want? Wow. We, um... Die Apokalypse so für dich. Ziemlich verrückt. Yeah, nuts. You have some business with me or what? As a matter of fact, we do. We are scavenger guides. We... Fuck off. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Scammers at every step nowadays. No, we... Okay, okay. You want to trade, at least? Not with you, cheats. But we can gamble a little. Goodbye. No? No goodbye. Okay. Wow. Weird. Keine Lust, irgendwas so, zu verlieren. Nachher zu verkacken. Okay. This one is called Save the Worst for Last. Essentially, tell them the positive qualities of the deal first. Once they've agreed, you hit them with all the bad shit. Just make sure that they've already said yes. That's terrible. Wouldn't they just say no, then call you a liar and a cheat? Not if you make it look unintentional or accidental. Pretend you forgot to mention the bad one. This could be funktionieren. Bring me a example where this funktionieren könnte. Sure. I started out selling cars. I did this shit all the time. I sold a long neck sedan to this giraffe car. I was so excited about how spacious it was that they said yes right away. Just before they signed the papers, I let it slip that the car didn't have AC. But I worded it. Oh, would you also like to add air conditioning? They assumed that it came with AC. And since they already gave their word and said yes, they weren't going to back out, even with the additional costs. Hmm. Wer weiß, dass sie nicht von vorn äh, zu vollem Preis zu bezahlt haben. Okay, ich denke, es konnte, könnte funktionieren, wenn man es richtig macht. Bei mir würde das in einer Million Jahren nicht funktionieren. You only think that because I told you the tactic. Mag sein. Nee, nee. I'm telling you, Larry, this... Look, some animals waving in that window. That's a jail. Hello there. Mortals, I command you to get here and free me from these wretched shackles. You're still locked up? What do you suppose I'm doing here? Sorry, but we're kind of in a hurry. We're coming up. Don't go anywhere. Hank, he's locked up for a reason. Relax, we'll just chit-chat a little. Maybe we can get him a scavenge. It's a fucking Siberian tiger convict. He's in a cage. Don't be a wuss. Come on. Ein sibirischer Tiger. So, jetzt nicht unbedingt etwas, womit man sich anlegen sollte. Meines Erachtens nach. Mein ja nur. Check out all this stuff. Some booze, sirens, a bunch of guard equipment. Groovy, here are the cell blocks. <coughs> um, hello? Ah, at last. You need to work on your manners, big boy. What's your tongue, insolent creature? Who the hell are you two? And what the fuck is going on out there? You don't know? No. One day, the guards dumped food and water in our cells and failed. No explanation, no nothing. Didn't the tiger tell you? His cell has a pretty good view of the street. Naturally. But those foolish non-believers deny the truth. Dude's a compulsive liar. Silence! I wouldn't deign to waste my breath lying to mere mortals. There we go. He claims his father's a god, which makes him a demigod. Or some shit. 
or some shit. And how about having super hearing? What about it? I can hear the roaches scratching in the walls. No shit. We can all hear them. Uh, I can hear the crawling vermin three buildings down. Uh -huh. And how do you know they're not just smaller ones in our walls? Uh, this is like talking to an infant. Because I have godlike hearing. How are you failing to comprehend this? Hell, I'm getting riled up again. Breathe. Breathe. Anyway, this latest fantasy is there's a zombie apocalypse outside. So, please, tell us what the heck is actually happening. Get serious. Just get us out of here already. Listen, if it really is a zombie apocalypse, why don't you free us? Because you rapists come again? <laughs> um, why would you assume... Larry, don't be so naive. You're in this tiny prison. Look how they're dressed. Plus, the gods are obviously afraid to release them. They're definitely rapists. How does that prove? It's clear as day. Are you nuts, Rabbit? Shut up, rapist. When I get out, <laughs> I'm gonna shut you up. There. Spoken like a true rapist. Need any more proof, Larry? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Fine. So you won't tell us what's really happening out there. At least tell us why you're here. We're looking for scavengers. We're professional, uh, official scavenger guides. Uh, I'm not following at all. We're also guild members. These fuckers are crazier than the tiger. This must have been You're practicing your stupid principle about looking professional. Das ist professionelles Auftreten. Gleich ist das nicht für dich. Yeah? Ugh. Listen, here's the deal. We'll free some of you, and in return, you'll scavenge for us. Sound good? Interesting. Okay, yes, take me! Okay, guys, so if we free you, first... Nobody's a rapist, you freak! If you weren't a rapist, you wouldn't be so defensive about it. Unless somebody accuses them of being a rapist. Nope, that ain't how it works. Second, in return, you'll scavenge for us. Sure! How about you, black and white? No thanks. You don't want us to set you free? I only have six more weeks here in this show. I don't plan on becoming a fugitive now. Buddy, I don't think you're grasping this. There's no society anymore. Uh, listen, Hank. I seriously feel like this guy is our only safe option. I have an idea. Buddy, what if we make a little deal? We prove that it really is a zombie apocalypse. You'll scavenge for us. Sure, prove it. Come on, let's go outside. I'm not escaping, you lunatics. How else are we gonna prove it? That's your problem. I guess we'll have to bring some evidence here. Okay, for now, let's talk with the others and see if anybody seems trustworthy enough. Oh, crap, Hank. I don't like this. We need somebody. Ugh, alright. But let's be extra careful. If the guards are afraid to let them out, we should be too. She had no angst for the Are you serious about this theory? Makes sense. Nein, tut es nicht. Und ich schätze, bei manchen Tieren kann man das nicht wissen. All right, buddy, why should we choose you? So I don't eat your livers for dinner. Great start. Let's move on. Hold on. Any other reason? So I can eat some zombie livers instead. If you're not lying through your teeth. Eh, that's a better reason. It is. It is. But still, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's probably worse than getting bit. You just gotta prepare them right. No, I mean, um... Look, Hank, we've got an impossible dilemma here. There's no sure way to figure out if he'll eat our livers or cooperate. Let's just get out of this prison. Did I hear prison and dilemma? What about it? 
I know a game we could play to help us sort this scavenging business out. Prisoner's Dilemma. Um, how? It's a game theory. Imagine that we both got arrested for a crime, then the cops asked us to testify against each other. Depending on how we cooperate, there are different outcomes. Some better, some worse. Alright, but I don't get how we can actually play it. It's simple. Here, I'll draw it. Hank, you and me got busted for animal slaughter. Come on, animal slaughter? Let's go with something a bit lighter. Mit Vergewaltigung scheint in diesem Laden üblich zu sein. Wie auch immer, Larry. Also. Fine. Let's pretend we got busted for a rape. Yeah, yeah, you should, uh, pretend. Hank! <laughs> now, here's what the cops say. If you testify against your pal here, and he testifies against you, you'll both get three years hard time. What? Three years for rape? It was a pretty bad one. What's wrong with you? Why couldn't you guys just steal something? But if you testify against your pal, and your pal doesn't testify against you, then you're free to go. But your buddy, me that is, gets eight years in the clink. Okay, easy enough. I testify. You'd sell me down the river? I ain't doing time again. Anyway, the same happens if you don't testify, and I do testify. And finally, if we both keep our mouths shut and refuse to testify, we only spend a year in the can each. Now, all we need to do is convert years into the shares of loot, and we're good to go. Here. Wait, if we both testify, we both get 30%? What happens with the remaining 40%? We burn it! <laughs> We gonna play, or what? Alright, let's choose. Here, let's put our cards on the table. You pricks decided to rat? Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! Wait, wait, what? You sold us out too, you son of a bitch! Then it's decided. We each take 30% of the loot, and burn the rest. Um, so I have a question. First, you sold me out. And now you refuse to honor our deal? You better stick to the damn deal, puppy. Fine, fine. Come on, Larry. Lockpick the door. Hurry up! Hmm. You seem familiar. Did you sell me drugs or something? Maybe. So what? So what? Jeez, we're talking. I want some friendly chit chat to convince us you're not a lunatic. Or a rapist. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, take me scavenging, and I'll give you all the loot. Well, here's the thing, bucko. I remember you screwing me over with bad shrooms. Uh, no, that wasn't me. Wait, I thought I was your dealer, Hank. The hell, man? You could never get your paws on some serious hallucinogens. Are we gonna head out or what? So you're willing to scavenge for us, and you'll let us keep all the loot? Yes, all the loot. Why should we trust you? Uh, that's the thing. You can't. Good point. Let's move on. Oh, wait, 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 wait! I was just... I was just doing that cool movie thing, you know? When the main guy has no other choice and then... Yeah, yeah, I get it. 
But we have plenty of choices, so it doesn't really work in this scenario. Oh, uh, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, you can trust me because, um, because the rabbit knows me. But you screwed me. But that wasn't me! Du sagst wir kennen uns nicht. Was zum Teufel hast du mir verkauft? Kenn ich dich, wenn du das nicht warst. From, um, from jail. Aha, but I've never been to jail. Yes, you are. That time when... For fuck's sake, Larry, I'm bluffing! Trying to get him tangled up in his own lies. Oops. I'm not lying! We met in jail! I don't know, Hank. Do you think you really knew him? Hmm... Ich wirklich verschwommen für mich sehen alle Dingos gleich aus. <lacht> Rassistischer kleiner Pisser. <lacht> you know what? Vertrauen lass uns tun. Du bleibst in diesem Käfig, Kumpel. No, no, no. Let me go. I'll cooperate. You screw me up with those shitty shrooms. I don't trust crooks. No, I didn't. I have no fucking idea who you are, rabbit. Oh, there we go. He just admitted he was lying. No, but I would still cooperate. Come on, you fucks. Moving on. Okay, let's say we set you free. And if there ain't an apocalypse out there, you can just go back inside. No harm done. That's still escaping. They tack on years for that. Dude, but... Wie erklärst du die Wesenheit des Wachmanns? Erklärst du die Tatsache, dass wir hier einfach reinspaziert sind? I'm not an idiot. It's obvious that there's some sort of mess out there. But I don't believe society as we know it has ended. Once things are back to normal, they'll lock me up again for escaping. Trust me. Raus geht's. If you see the zombies... I'm staying put. Fine. We'll just bring some evidence here. Sure. Show me some zombie evidence. <laughs> Let's talk to the big boy over here. I don't know, Hank. I'm not particularly comfortable letting that one out. Even if he had all his marbles. Ain't that a bit racist? I don't care what it is. Dude could slice me in half like it's nothing. Still, let's talk with him. Hey there, buddy. So why should we choose you to be our scavenger? If you think that the son of Agmir will scrown scraps for you, I truly pity your wits. But this I can guarantee. You shall set me free. There, he won't do it. Let's move on. Why not? Are you asking why a demigod won't serve puny mortals? Sterblichen den Schlüssel zur Zelle des Halbgottes hätten? I feel that will make a fair bargain. Divinity doesn't bargain with mortals. Eh, tough luck then, Stripes. Are you refusing to release me? Listen, let's drop that for a moment. I see you've accumulated some nice stuff in there. Hmm. Perhaps you can bolster my larders. Verbandskasten.
ganze Verbandszeug ist auf jeden Fall wichtig. Zigaretten werden die Leute brauchen. Äh, wenn die Leute noch nicht so viel Erfahrung haben mit Medizin und sonst irgendwas, würde ich behaupten, dass das eigentlich auch ziemlich gut ist. Ein bisschen Süßkram. Ich kann mir vorstellen, dass die Angelroute später nützlich ist. Oder generell, also falls man irgendwo angeln gehen kann, dann könnte man damit halt noch mehr Essen holen. Werkzeug wäre, wie gesagt, eigentlich auch gut. Deswegen würde ich den eigentlich gerne behalten. Hier wird natürlich auch gebraucht. Das könnte man da noch hin. We'll trade more later, Hercules. Come back if you get some cleaning supplies. You ran out of ass wipers? Show some decency. Let's go already. Beiden Anblick gepasst. Okay. Gehen wir erstmal mit ihm. Jo, das war's mit Chimming Through the Zombie Apocalypse, Episode 2. Hoffen wir uns hat euch so weit gefallen. Wenn ja, würde ich mich über einen Daumen nach oben freuen, wenn ihr euch abonniert habt, dann tut das und wenn ihr Bock drauf habt. Dann sehen wir uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bis dann.